Hello and welcome to Wood Art by Z. My name is Cheryl. I did a quick video painting the barn quilt snowflake. These pieces are cut from MDF on my Glowforge, so you may see some flashback on the back side. You can sand it off if it bothers you, but most likely no one will see it anyway. I am going to use Spa Blue by DecoArt to paint the backer piece. I am only painting the outside edges because the center will be covered up. I can already see this color is going to require a few coats. If you are interested in ordering this snowflake, you can find it on my website, www.woodartbyz.com. It will be under the winter collection. You will only get the unfinished wood pieces. Okay, my blue looks like it has good coverage, so I will set this aside to dry. Next, I am going to use Apple Barrel White for the top snowflake piece. The white is also going to need a couple coats. If you are wondering where I am painting this, I am actually sitting on my couch. This is where I was most comfortable and I knew this wouldn't take long to paint. So yeah, real life here, nothing fancy. These pieces are designed to fit a certain way, so you may need to turn it a few times to get the correct placement. I am just using my white paint and the spa blue again to paint some of the quilt pieces. As I paint them, I'm going to try to keep them in the same place. The next paint color I used is Storm Cloud Gray by Deco Art. You can use any colors you want. You don't have to paint it like mine. Use your favorite colors. Make it your own. I just wanted to show you how these DIY pieces work and give an idea as to what they can look like when completed. This year I plan to do more short videos like this as well as doing my very first Facebook Live. For my last color, I decided to use a color shifting paint by Folk Art called Blue Flash. This paint gives off a blue, purple, teal green color. I wasn't sure I was going to end up liking it, but it worked really well with my other colors. Now I'm going to start gluing my pieces down. I like to use this stick fast glue. It dries super fast, so be mindful of your fingers or you will be glued to your project. You could also use a super glue like Gorilla Glue. As you can see on the snowflake, there are lines scored to help you with placement. I'm putting one more coat on these pieces before gluing them down. You can use a hair dryer or a heat tool to dry your pieces. I'm just going to be careful when placing them since they are still wet. And here is your completed project. I will have a new Valentine collection up hopefully before the end of the week. Thank you for watching.